Alright, so for those of you just tuning in, Resonance here, we're about to do some viewer games in Hearthstone. Now, this is something that I just recently started doing, so obviously the format will improve over time. Your feedback is always appreciated, and no, before anyone asks, this is not a replacement for AOE2 content, it's just extra stuff. If you follow my channel, you know that I'll do a wide variety of things, Age of Empires 2, other games, you name it. AOE2 is still coming, don't worry about it. Anyway, back onto the actual format of this myself. Uh, you guys seem to really like it when I play with and against you, so that's definitely going to be part of the Hearthstone stream. I'll be doing a wide variety of different Hearthstone-related content, uh, whether it be me, you know, playing through the, the solo adventures, I'm happy to do something like that, do some Tavern Brawl, we'll play uh, some ranked laddering, I can show off some fun decks, I have all sorts of fun ideas for this. And as part of my viewer game format, uh, basically, you guys get to play against me regardless of what's in your collection. So we're going to be doing all sorts of different types of games. Uh, Yo Soy Fiesta, aka Rapuju, has challenged me to a game of Hearthstone. He did win the drawing. So we're going to play against him, and he requested that we play a game with standard decks. I've noticed he actually got to rank 4 this season, so it's very impressive. And for those of you who don't know what Hearthstone is, it's a free-to-play card game. You play on the tablet, PC, phone, uh, and Mac and whatnot. It's a game I really, really enjoy. And like I've said before, part of the reason why I'm here is to share what makes me happy with you guys and both teach you a little bit of what I know about Hearthstone, uh, as well as just to have fun. I'm not the best player out there. Uh, the highest I got to was rank 3. I haven't really had the time to do too much serious laddering. And I've also realized that at a point, Hearthstone becomes a very hard game that requires a lot of attention and strategy. Uh, once you get to the higher ranks, it gets a lot harder. At some point, I'd like to get to Legend, but in the meantime, got to rank 3 last season. Haven't been doing too much rank this one. Gonna pick a deck to go play against this guy. Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, good old Uther. I, I'm really enjoying mid-range Paladin. I think it's a great deck. This is the type of thing where I feel like I should be showing you my deck list before uh, we get into the game. Yo Soy Viesto or Rapuju, if you're wa if you're listening right now, in the interest of fairness, if you could pause the stream, I trust you to not look at the uh, look at my hand and stuff. I don't know if I should be showing the deck list and stuff prior in case my opponent is, I guess, stream sniping me. But, you know, we're all friends here and I, I trust you guys. So, I think that's something that I, I, I should do. Yeah, before I get into the game, I could always do that. I trust you guys, man. No one, no one, you guys wouldn't stream snipe me anyway. Anyway, I'm going to mulligan away these two cards. Why? Because they cost a lot. Remember, we start at one mana when we play Hearthstone and the mana goes up every turn. You get one more extra mana each turn. I'll never get to play this crap uh, if I keep these two. I don't need two true silver champions. I'd like to keep one. I'm going second, which means I'm going to get this card in my hand called The Coin, and what The Coin does is that it just gives me one extra mana crystal for that turn only. You get it when you go second. He has one mana, he went first, he passed, uh, nothing was played. Uh, let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash my deck list on the screen for you guys, as I happen to actually have this one saved, as it's one that I have been doing a lot of laddering in Season 15 with, so if you want to see what this deck list is, uh, I can try and explain a little bit about it. He's playing Shaman, that's pretty cool. Basically, this mid-range Paladin deck is very straightforward. It has a little bit of early game, a little bit of late game. As we can see, the cost of my minions kind of scales up a bit. What's interesting here is that I have Ysera in my deck. It's something I've been playing around with. I like to fiddle with the mid-range Paladin deck list a lot. It's one of my favorite decks to play. I love playing Mage. I love Paladin. I love Druid. I play those classes a lot. Uh, and... This deck is, is pretty straightforward. It's all about getting early board control with very, very value-oriented minions like this 2-mana, two 2-2 two, two with Divine Shield. Shielded mini bot. That card is very good uh, because it has Divine Shield, so it can trade favorably with all sorts of uh, early game minions, so that's why it's super good. And the goal is just kind of control the board uh, and then, you know, just take him to the late game and beat him up there. Mid-range is basically like a very balanced deck, if that makes sense. If anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I think I'll be playing more games Mirko after this. We'll see. Earthshock is, uh, is a little bit unfortunate for us, but that's fine. Of course, guys, there are nine different classes in Hearthstone. I'll be playing as the Paladin today. My opponent, Yo Soy Fiesta, who will be playing as the Shaman. They have different hero powers and cards unique to said class. 30 cards in our deck. See the mana over here that we have, and the mana cost in the top left of these cards. The attack value is in the bottom left, and the HP is on the right. When minions attack each other, they both gain, uh, they, they both take damage uh, based off the opposing minions' attack when they attack each other. But you don't have to attack uh, minions, you can attack their face as well. 
I would have really loved to play Muster for Battle right there, which would have comboed really well with Knife Juggler, which is after you summon a minion, deal one damage to a random enemy, and this summons three 1-1 one, one minions. That would have been really good, but unfortunately, Yo Soy Fiesta is smart enough that he actually... Uh, he silenced my Knife Juggler, which removes all of its card text, uh, which means that I do not get to play Muster for Battle there. I think I'm going to Hero Power in this case because... I don't want to play too much in a Lightning Storm. He has an area of effect spell that will deal 2 to 3 damage to all of my minions, and I don't want to lose all my Knife Jugglers for free. I'd really like to combo Knife Juggler with Muster for Battle. That's a great question, Galbatrox. Do I feel like when a quality is enough? Sometimes I feel like it isn't. Sometimes I feel like I want to put 2 in, and it's something that I am never quite sure of. Now, the good news is here is that this is a great turn to play True Silver Champion. Uh, give myself a weapon. We're going to attack in here. Remember, I'm going to take some damage back. Uh, explosive Sheep is very, very bad uh, for for us. Hey, so that kind of sucks. When Explosive Sheep dies, it deals 2 damage to all enemy minions, or just all minions, yeah. It has Death Rattle, so when it dies, deal 2 damage to all minions. I, Yo Soy Fiesta has Golden Shaman, which is sick. I did not know he had a Golden Shaman. Uh, after this, we're going to have to ask him when he's laddering with him. I'm excited. Uh, da -da -da -da. So, I'm in, a, I'm in an interesting position. He just played Antique Heal Bond as a battle cry, so it does something when you play it from your hand. In this case, restore 8 health to his hero. If that was his best turn 5 play, that's really interesting. That means... Because he didn't get full value out of the heal here, because he's only at 25. This makes me think that there is uh, some mischief going on here, and he might not have the best curve. Now, I could... Uh, I, think, I think I just hero power this. I want to muster for battle. For justice. <sighs> I, I'm not quite sure what I should be doing here. I have a lot of a lot of interesting plays. I want to muster for battle knife juggler, but then I get shit on by lightning storm, and then that's like really bad for me. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, either way, if I save muster for battle for the quartermaster combo, as we can see, quartermaster gives my silver hand recruits plus two plus two, and muster for battle gives me three silver hand recruits. Oh, that'd be pretty good, but it still doesn't really play around lightning storm and deal two damage to all enemy minions. See you, Flash. Have a good one, man. Yeah, I'll see you Friday, dude. Um, I mean, I'm I'm not a huge fan of Patriot Warrior. I think it's a really interesting deck archetype, but it's not it's not my cup of tea, I guess. Could Aldor Peacekeeper this change its minions attack to one? Please let me know if my thought process actually makes sense to you. If I'm explaining things in an easy to understand manner. I think Aldor Peacekeeper is the correct play here. I think I Aldor this. I said I don't really have an easy way to kill it. I don't think I muster for battle because again, I, I I'm worried about. Uh, lightning Storm. I don't want to put too many minions on my board and give him too much value out of his Lightning Storm. I don't want to AoE too much. Or, uh, I guess play too many minions and get owned by AoE. So there's a Sludge Belcher. That thing is taunt, so I have to kill it first. There's no easy way for me to kill this Fire Elemental, unfortunately, right now. Big Game Hunter is going to be a good one. Destroy minion with 7 attack or more. Oh, we're running a little bit out of steam here. I think that I could, uh... Not really sure. I need like a true silver or something. I, uh, killing this Belcher is going to be really hard. Because this taunts, so I have to kill it first. And when it dies, it summons a 1 2 with taunt as well. Which is bad. I think that I do muster for battle here, or do I quartermaster? I could silence as well. Silencing it might be good. If I silence this, what's my play? I think I do silence that. Uh, also, alternatively, I could have hero-powered Quartermaster. That might have been good. Uh, I think that I also trade into this guy. Again, Lightning Storm just owns me. Maybe I'm being too timid to play around Lightning Storm. I'm not really sure. The thing here is that... Hearthstone's actually a very tough game. And while there is, like, quite a bit of RNG in Hearthstone, there are a lot of really complex things you have to play around, and... Oftentimes, I find that the turn timer isn't actually enough when you're trying to think seriously about this. Reincarnate is bad for me. It's going to destroy that minion, return to life with full health, which is going to unsilence it, of course, so it's back. It's back in black. There is no term limit to this game, Grey Rep. That's a great question. There is a card limit. Uh, you have 30 cards in your deck, and when you run out of cards, every time you draw, you take damage. Uh, increasing amount of damage, starting at 1, going up by, you know, one, uh, I think it doubles every time you draw. So anyway, or, or it goes up by one. Uh, either way, uh, you know, there are ways to draw cards. This thing is a uh, death rattle draw card, so when this loot hoarder dies, you draw. 
Um, reincarnate's bad for us. I could quartermaster muster for battle here. Wait, but I have three minions on the board. This will have three more quartermaster, so I can still do that. I think I have to, right? Just gonna do that. So we'll summon a bunch of these, uh, a bunch of these one-one guys, Silverhand recruits, and my quartermaster will buff them up, which is good. I still have no easy way to get through the Sludge Belcher, which sucks like a massive amount of balls. I might as well like hit his stuff here. I might as well like hit his junk here because I mean Lightning Storm screws me anyway. Uh, there's not really too much I can do to play around Lightning Storm at this point. Uh, he's gonna roll maybe Spell Power Totem and then go for Lightning Storm. I think he has it, he must, he's been digging through his deck so much. I do ugly? I swear I updated it to Hearthstone, that is like a big mistake on my part. Did I not update that? I, my bad, Ugly. Thank you for pointing that out. Wow, I thought I updated that a long time ago. <laughs> that is my bad. The light does not discriminate. Thank God I don't play secrets. Yeah, equality wasn't too bad there, Snow Run. That's interesting. Uh, there are so many ways I could have deviated my play there. Uh, it's hard for me to tell. However, the interesting part about not going for equality, Snow Run, is that if I hero power this turn, I, qu I could quartermaster again. Which would be pretty, which would be pretty bonkers. I feel like there are few opportunities in my life that I will, I will get, you know, this much value. I feel like I have to go for this, right? Because the, the just the sheer novelty. Thank you. Thank you. Duty calls. Duty calls. I think I just go face. I mean, normally I would want to trade here, but I think I just, I think I just beat him down. This has been a, this has been a pretty good game so far. Sometimes you just get a bad hand and you lose, but it's part of the game, man. Um. It's going to take a miracle to save him. I don't think he can draw anything here. It's going to be Lightning Storm, right? Like he's going to have to roll Spell Power. Okay. So, so he has to roll Spell Power, and then he has to get a Azure Drake, and he has to roll Max on all these. All right. Well, he, he, he almost... He had almost had an out there. The US OPS did not RNG Jesus enough. GG, well played, man. It was a pleasure to play with you, uh, as always. Um, if you want, uh, we can do... We can do one more. We can do one more. We can make it a. We can make it a best. We can make it a, a two-game series. My list is busy, so I don't know if he actually received my message. Let me go check if he if he did. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll just go play a different deck. We'll make it just a two-game series. It's not a competition, right? Like, I, win or lose, I don't really care. Uh, we'll play the. Uh, we'll play the oil rogue. Quartermaster hype. Oh, I was just gonna play a different deck, yo. So if he has to, hopefully he doesn't mind. Mix up a little bit. We'll just play two games with the dude. GG, well played. He played that pretty well. Sleep well already, Teddy, as always. It's a pleasure. Hmm. Let's do this, man. Yeah, it's not a competition. This is all in good fun. So swap around. I don't think I want any of these cards, honestly. Uh, he had a bunch of... If you're wondering what I was talking about with Lightning Storm, because like I said, Lightning Storm does 2 to 3 damage to all enemy minions. Oh my god, this is... This is... Oh, Virtue Gaze! Ah, oh, my hand, my eyes! Oh, Jesus! Mistakes were Job done. Uh oh. I also need to get the Paladin deck list on. I don't have this deck list on my screen. I'll show you it at the end of this game. Ah, shit balls. This is bad. Uh, anyway, he, he had a bunch of things that give extra spell damage. So that's why, yeah. And the Shaman Hero Power is summon a random totem. One of them gives you, gives you spell damage. There's four different ones. Right, right, I say Rez question, so are those decks named by you, or did you, like, buy them with something? No, I, I, I built all the decks myself, uh, obviously, but uh, the decks are based off, like, common deck archetypes online. It's not like they're all my original ideas. There are enough people playing Hearthstone that, like, you'll generally find that most deck ideas are explored, but not all of them. There's plenty of room for innovation. Uh, these are, like, my twists on standard deck archetypes, if that makes sense. I named them based off what they're standardly known as. My decks generally differ by about one or two different cards. I just like to experiment, figure out what, what, what what's good, what's not. Uh, the metagame changes all the time. Captain Dolphin says, Resonance 22, yo, yo, Res, just join in. I still remember last time you penetrate me the rogue deck versus my legendary paladin. Yeah, that was a fun game, Captain Dolphin. Welcome to the stream, dude. My hand is bad. Uh... I think I just, I just bop him in the face and equip another weapon. That's my hero power, guys. Show you the deck list at the end of the video. He might get me this time. Having two sprints in my starting hand is, you know, a little bit unfortunate. But that, that's part of Hearthstone, so like it's it's okay. Yeah, 
Generally, I find bad RNG incredibly entertaining, uh, rather than uh, frustrating. At least not when I'm playing ranked. I think Hearthstone's a hilarious game. Yeah, Moop, I do play Hearthstone. Welcome, dude. Let's see. I'm in a, I'm in a somewhat bad position here. I think I just bop this guy. Bop him right in the face. Pay attention, class. We'll play a Violet Teacher. I could have saved the Violet Teacher for that backstab combo. This Violet Teacher is whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1 1 Violet Apprentice. This deck is all about like a huge combo, guys, with Tinker's Sharp Sword Oil, which is that card we saw at the start that I mulliganed back that gives my weapon and a random minion of mine a huge attack buff. And basically, I just try and kill him real fast. I try and, uh, you know, like control the board clear the board of all their minions until I can get a huge combo with, uh, you know, like Deadly Poison and Blade, uh, like Blade Flurry, Tinker Sharp Soda Oil, a huge combo with my weapon, deal a lot of damage to them instantly and just kind of kill them. Well, this is a really shitty turn for me. I don't want to eviscerate that at all. I don't want to play any of these cards. These cards are all bad. They, they require something to combo with them. Uh, the combo bonus only happens if I've played a card this turn. Seems really bad. I could eviscerate the spider and then uh, SI7 it. That just sounds bad, but I, I don't. I, I need to get something on the board, right? Ha, this guy's toast. Ha, this guy's toast. I feel like I have to play something. I do have almost every card in the game move. I play a lot of Hearthstone. Ah, uh, hmm. This might this might be it for us. I'm not sure. Maybe he drew like really badly too. It, it's possible. There's Tinker Sharp Soda Oil, what this deck is built around. That's why we call it Oil Rogue. This is still really bad, because I, I can't play any... I, I can't... I have no plays. Like, there's nothing I can play with Edmund Van Cleef either that doesn't suck ass. Like, I, I want to play a card first, and then play both Edmund Van Cleef and Eviscerate, but I can't do that. And no, using my hero power doesn't count for that. That's just... that's just so much balls. I'm like up shit creek without a paddle, man. If I don't play something this turn... Uh, then, uh, Sprint is gonna put me, like, dangerously close to losing a card, right? So I'll have six cards in my hand next turn if I don't play anything. And then Sprint will get me to nine. Uh, so I guess I just, I just passed this turn. I mean, I feel like I need some value out of my guys. Lights out. Hey, lights out. And I guess I just hit him. That sucks. There are many ways I could have played that turn. They just all feel bad. Hmm. Well, a double quartermaster combo last game is pretty sick. Uh, I think I'm gonna pay the price this turn though. Now prep sprint here is actually pretty good. Yeah, prep sprint's fine. All right, now, now, now we're getting back into this. I, I'm gonna take a lot of damage as he has a lot of a lot of minions on the board. But if I kill the zombie chow, it heals me, which is pretty cool. Uh, sometimes I make my own decks, a uh, moop, but usually I like to take a I guess a net deck and, and sort of tweak it to my needs. Unless I'm playing with my friends, and I almost always play. Like, uh, decks I made, of course. It's just that, uh, you sort of used to ask for a relatively standard game. Now, I played prep there, which made my sprint cost less mana. Now I can play Edwin Van Cleef and get him huge! I don't think it's huge enough, though. I think I, I think I pay the price anyway. Thank you for the, uh, the offer for some interesting deck designs. I'd love to play you with some original decks versus original decks. We have some fun. I've had some kicks with some really fun ones. Like, Fane Death Hunter is always so cool. I love me some innovation, Hearthstone. Contrary to popular belief, while net decking is easier, uh, innovation is generally the secret to success. It just can be really hard to make your own deck archetype. But everyone thought Rogue was garbage uh, at, when Goblins vs. Gnomes, the expansion, came out, but then some, eventually a whale Rogue was born. It turns out that uh, Rogue is a very good class still. Thank you, Hayden and Boo. I had a wonderful Father's Day dinner uh, with, my, with my dad on Friday, a little early celebration. As he is out of town right now. So let's see. I'm in a I'm in a bad position here, but there might be a way out of this. I need eight mana, so I get Violet Teacher. Whenever you cast the spell, summon a one one Violet Apprentice. Buff my weapon. Man of Nimes. I need like Blade Flurry. Blade Flurry would be pretty good. Pay attention, class. I'm in a, I'm in an okay position. I, I think I do this right. I am ready to learn. Here we go. I think I hit this. Play Fan of Knives. If anyone's like really confused and you have no idea what's going on, please don't hesitate to ask me questions. I'd be happy to answer them in the best of my abilities. I want to make you feel at home, man. 
We all have to come from somewhere. Yeah, Sandman, I know. The story of my life. Thanks, Daw. Great to see you again. What a pleasant surprise. Best of luck with your finals. I have my final exams tomorrow, Daw. I hope you do well. Yeah, Fane Death Hunter is the shit move. It's so cool. And hello, uh, Showcox, too. Great to see you, man. What to do? Nah, Sandman, if you actually read the schedule, you wouldn't be deceived at all. Alright, let's see. Summon a Taunt Totem, that's interesting. Uh, I think he's going to kill the Violet Teacher this turn, and he might trade in both dudes. We'll see. Well, you do. I'm glad to, I'm glad to hear it, Zen, man. Variety is the spice of life, right? We'll still do AoE, though, of course. Yeah, it's just a very unique map. Yeah, yeah, Sandman, this is actually patch 4.0 to AoE 2 HD. They really fucked up the interface, didn't they? Like you can hardly recognize it. It's honestly, it's honestly disgusting. Uh, they changed Age of Empires so much. I mean, I bet you can't even find the villagers on the screen. Oh, this would be sick blade flurry, actually. Clear everything. It doesn't really accomplish anything, though, does it? Hmm. Good blade flurry. Lothab. Do I need to blade flurry? I feel like, I, I feel like it's a waste. Shall do as you say. So I hit that. I think I play this guy. It's ICU. I think I hero power up. And I I'm getting ready, guys. We're getting ready for that Tinker Sharp Sword Oil Dream. I know, dude. No, they broke all the mods in the last update, Sandman. Like, ever since 3.9, AoE 2 looks like this now. They, they turned it in... Like, people's biggest complaints with Age of Empires 3, or at least in general, I mean, they're... I've heard a wide variety of them, obviously, was that, the, you know, the, the card system that they added to AoE 2, I mean, AoE 3, people, a lot of people didn't like that. And look what they did to AoE 2, Sandman. It's like a fucking card game now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, think, I think we're getting ready to, to beat them up. I think I'm getting ready to, to beat them up a little bit. I think I heal this, yeah? Do I sharp sword oil? Or do I sprint? If I sprint, that puts me to nine cards, because this is one card in itself, and I lose that card, and I go up to nine. Do I not combo yet? I might not just I might just not do anything stupid yet. My apologies to my opponent, by the way, if I'm roping and stuff. I'm trying to like communicate my thought process to people. I think I, I, think I do this. I think I'm actually going to keep my weapon charge, as crazy as that is. I want to trade away my 1-1 one, one, uh, Violet Apprentice, so that uh, Tinker Sharp Sword Oil, which buffs a random minion and my weapon, gives them both three attack. If I played another card that turn, I don't want it to buff my 1-1. One, one. I want it to buff something much bigger and harder to remove, a minion with more HP. Boom says the best is when you play Dr. Boom. Of course, he's talking about his uh, Feign Death Hunter deck. Feign Death, of course, is a two-mana hunter spell that uh, activates all your death rattles on your minions without killing them. So he says, uh, the best is when you play Dr. Boom and they don't kill the two Boom bots. And the next turn, you play Baron Rivendare and Feign Death. I did 15 damage to his face once with bombs alone on top of clearing the board. That sounds amazing, Moop. I would love to play against some of your fun decks someday. That sounds great. Well, thank you, Stiffs. Appreciate it. Yeah, this card system. Yeah, no more Voobly. Oh, man. What have they done? Hello, Sanity. I hope Yo Sofiesta doesn't mind me taking my time with the turns. I'm trying to think through it and also explain my thought process to you guys. Hopefully that helps in some way. Yeah, it's not AoE 2. It's weird. You guys wouldn't believe it, but I've been playing games that aren't AoE 2 on Sunday for over a year. It's been nearly two years now. Well, I, 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 it could be time to get big, but I don't want to buff my frog. That would suck. This doesn't really matter, right? Do I just start getting big and just just hitting, just beating the shit out of him? Do I start? Do I just start beating the shit out of him? Do I just like deadly poison, like sharp sword oil, and just go crazy? I think I do it. I think I just, I think I just go insane. I think it's time to kill him because I'm running out of cards. I have seven left. Did not buff the taunt. That's very good. Yes, good, good. And now we hit him. Here we go. 
Do I eviscerate face? Of course I eviscerate face. <laughs> One of the reasons why this might work is I have Blade Flurry, which is destroy your weapon and deal its damage to all enemies. We can see how this is a great combo with my Deadly Poison Tinker. Sharp Soda Oil Thingamajigger. Deathwing, I think, can definitely work, Captain Dolphin. I think it's actually potentially very good in Dragon Warrior. Good night, Cinepolito. Thank you for tuning in, as always. It's a pleasure. Don't you lightning storm me, yo, so fiesta, no! Oh. I need to start bursting him down, because I don't think I can out-sustain him. I need to just kill him. Well, Mirko, I mean, uh, thank God I'm not actually quitting AoE, and this is just a Sunday of Hearthstone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing Hearthstone on Sunday. Am I not allowed to do that without everyone freaking out? Or people joking about freaking out? Uh, yeah, it's just extra stuff. Now, this kind of sucks for me, because I want to... He has an anti kill but that sucks. So he might just run me out of cards. Like, I, I think I think he's actually stalled me out of threats. We have Fatigue Shaman! He's not playing anything big enough either that, uh... That I can sap. He hasn't played anything that's worth using sap on. We Guys, we've been reduced to this. I am bopping his face for one with my hero power. I'm gonna run out of cards. Gonna run out of cards. I think Deathwing is surprisingly, surprisingly good, actually. I think it, has a, I think it can be very strong in Dragon Warrior, but that's my personal opinion, obviously. Ah, it's okay, Murga. A V two rehab exactly. Uh, now I'm running into I'm running into some problems as uh, I I'll, I'll, okay like again my deck is all about cycling through the cards in my deck to try and draw that Tinker Sharp Sword Oil Deadly Poison combo with Blade Flurry which I did draw and I did use uh, and then after that I, I I got nothing you know it's my refractory period is is, is very long I, I blow my load once I'm done I have five cards left he has ten all of my deck is all about getting to that combo. Controlling the board, removing his threats, you know, with things like sap and whatnot, help me get to my combo faster. Look at all these card draw things I have. This is really bad for me because uh, once I run out of cards, I lose. I can start taking so much damage. Uh, this thing gives me spell damage plus one, so my fan of knives is two damage, which is pretty sick. Uh, you're gonna anti heal bot here, uh, and I think I just bop him in the face. Is there's no way I'm gonna, you know, like I can just hero power next turn. Like there's no. There's no way I can spend 8 mana. I think I'm out of cards. I think he just fatigued me as Shaman. I think I'm actually out of cards. I I feel like Yosoi Fiesta must not have been drawing his threats this game. There we go. There's a big threat. Uh, he must have something big. Oh, shit. Well played. Do you guys see that combo? Oh, my God. He just stole, like, the last minion in my deck. Do I have Dr. Boom in here? I think I put Dr. Boom in the deck. Look at all these cards I have that draw me things. Th this is bad because the more I draw, the closer I get to fatigue when I run out of cards and every draw hurts me. So uh, it's going to take a miracle to get me out of this one. Well, there's Dr. Balanced in all of his glory. The one argument for Hearthstone truly being paid to win that I support is probably Dr. Balanced. That card is disgusting. Well, I guess I send everything back to the hand and I bop him in the face for one. I like, really, really the only thing that could win me this game is Dr. Boom being profoundly bullshit, and, uh, you know, his boom bots that might explode just win me the game, maybe. I don't know. Well, Noob Slayer, I spent the entire first three hours talking about the basics, but I'd be happy to talk a little bit more about them. Uh, I mean, what you, I guess, where are you most- where should I start, Noob Slayer? What doesn't make sense to you? I don't want to go over, like, everything again, if that makes sense, but, like- I'd be happy to help you in any way. I think I lose, though. I think I, I think I just I think I just lose. I'm almost out of cards. Oh, Doctor Balance, come on, man! You <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Wait, if I hero power, I can do this. I can prep, make my spell cost three less. I can't click. There we go. That's okay. All right. We can still win this game. I can sap his sludge belcher next turn if it's still alive, and I can kill him. Maybe. Ugh. Oh, I never said you didn't need those expansions to be competitive, Snowrun. I never said anything close to that. Ah, uh, this is slightly bad. He's playing. He's getting a lot of taunt minions, but I can still sap that. Come on, man. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes, dude. Come on, man. Don't lightning storm! 
Go face! Or kill all the- kill the- Oh no, don't- don't- no, not for one. This isn't enough damage, is it? Okay, well I'm gonna literally use all the cards I have. And I lose. Yeah, uh, okay. Alright, what are the odds he doesn't have an answer to this? Wait, no, he hasn't answered this. I sapped his sludge belcher, didn't I? Alright, well played. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. All right. You, you got me. I'm out of cards. Uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, Noob Slayer. Uh, you start with one mana crystal in the bottom right. I mean, obviously the game's over, so it's kind of hard for me to explain it. Uh, you start with one mana crystal in the bottom right. You gain one mana every single turn. GG, well played, USA FS. It was a pleasure playing with you. Um,. Let's look at a card. Let's look at, uh... I don't know. Let's look at this guy. Boom! He costs one mana, so I can play him on turn one. His attack stats on the bottom left. His uh, health is on the bottom right. His mana is in the top left. Uh, and, yeah, when you attack another a minion with a minion or just anything, like, they both take damage. So if a flame imp attacks a flame imp, they both die. Uh, because 3-2 versus 3-2, you know, you take damage equal to damage, right? And... It drops your health down. Uh, if a Flame Imp attacks a Void Walker, which is a 1-3, the Flame Imp lives because it takes one damage, so there's one health left, the damage stays. Uh, but the, the Void Walker dies, so it takes three damage, three health it dies. Uh, there are nine classes in Hearthstone. We have um, nine different classes that all have like their own unique cards. You can see the classes here. And there are also cards that all classes share, like the neutral cards. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a card game. Uh, it's a free-to-play card game that I really, really enjoy. I love me some Hearthstone. Uh, and there's a lot of freedom in deck building. It's super duper fun. Hearthstone's a great free-to-play game. Uh, but obviously no game is truly free-to-play if you want to play competitively. If you want to play at a higher level, climb to the top of the ladder, compete in tournaments, then what you have to do is probably spend some money. However, if you just want to play with your friends, uh, or just play casually in the lower ladder if you're okay playing you know casual mode uh we also have like tavern brawl you can hang out in the lower ranks if you don't really care about you know getting to rank one then uh by all means it's a great f free to play game that i love uh it's just super duper fun uh while there might be quite a bit of rng in it uh you know luck factor and you know what cards you draw and whether or not your effects uh land in the way you want them to case in point you know card like lightning storm there's also a shitload of strategy in it especially at the higher level GG well played, Yo Soy Fiesta, aka Rapuju. What would you prefer I call you? Yeah, that double quartermaster was pretty sick. You definitely got me in the last game. Uh, you, fatigue Shaman, man, it's OP. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are some really, really good games. It's always a pleasure playing with you. And congrats, by the way, on getting so high on the ladder this season. I see you've got all the way to rank 4, which is very impressive. Hearse is a game you can kind of play on the toilet when you're lower level, but as you get up, uh, you know, in the higher ranks, it requires, like, utmost focus. It's a really cool game. Hopefully that makes sense. N uh, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, GG well played, man. So I guess that's the end of that. That is a viewer game. I'd be happy to improve the format, expand on it as time goes on. Uh, I said I would show off the Oil Rogue deck list that I've been using. I, I do tweak these about every season or so. Uh, you know, just, I always change, like, one or two cards just to see what works better, what doesn't. There's a lot of, like, meta calls. Some optional cards, of course, would be, like, Edwin Van Cleef. He can probably be substituted. You might not always need a second band of knives. There's a lot of room for freedom in here. Uh, not all of them run Dr. Boom. Some have Thorison instead. I've seen Gadgets and Auctioneer instead of Sprint. I've seen, you know, all sorts of, uh, substitutions. Some have two anti Healbots, some have two Earth and Ring Farseers. A lot of room for creativity with this deck. Uh, but it's all about that Tinker Sharp Sword Oil Deadly Poison Blade Flurry combination. It's a really cool deck. I played a lot. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you don't, obviously, like, if you're new and you don't have all these cards, you can just build a different deck. It's no problem, man. Like, unless you're trying to compete in a tournament. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the basic cards are definitely, like, decent, substitute, uh, decent substitutes. You do kind of need Tinker Sharp Sword Oil for this specific thing, but don't feel the need to net deck if you don't have all the cards. Like, it's fine. Just play whatever you want, man. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. And if you're trying to climb to the top of the ladder with Oil Rogue and you don't have, like, any of those cards, that might be a little harder. But if you're just playing for fun, you don't need them. No problem. Yeah, I'll get more EU cards. Uh, it really depends on how much uh, support and, uh, you know, how interested people are in Hearthstone. I'll be uploading the VODs to YouTube Savage Genetics, and if they get enough, I guess, thumbs up and nice comments, uh, 
and some like helpful constructive feedback then it's something that I will definitely do. I have been building my collection on EU but like how much time I invest in it is basically proportional to uh, uh, I guess how much people really care. I don't want to spend like months grinding a collection out on EU like I did on NA uh, if no one cares. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying Hearthstone and hopefully I've been doing a decent job. Uh, the format will obviously improve over time it's just extra content and I had a lot of fun today, and I'm really looking forward to bringing more Hearthstone to you. I don't think it'll be like a weekly thing, it'll just be like extra stuff on top of uh, AUE and whatnot. You can always check the schedule on my Twitch page, just scroll underneath the video player, blah bitty blah bitty bloop. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, I had some great games with USOI Fiesta today, it was fantastic. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing against uh, Heroic Chromagus, we'll, we'll get him next time, that son of a bitch. I... Chromagus gets me every single time, we'll get him. Maybe I'll do some arena, I'm not very good at it. Who knows, man. Tavern Brawl was fun, too. I had a blast. Look forward to what next week's Tavern Brawl is, too. Dude, no, it's my pleasure, Noob Slayer. Uh, it, it, it's my pleasure. I think that this will get a lot better uh, for me over time, and I uh, will be enjoying it a lot more as well when people get used to this idea that sometimes I do play things other than Age of Empires. Uh, yeah. I think, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I, I really like my goal is to make sure that everyone feels as welcome and just awesome as possible. So, you know, I am. Yeah, I'm always happy to answer your questions. Always. We all have to start somewhere. I'm going to kind of, like, skedaddle after this one. I'm going to, like, stick around for a brief Q&A, and then I'm going to skedaddle. Uh, but thank you so much for watching the stream so far. If you want me to say goodbye to you personally, then stick around until after the break, and I'll say goodbye to you. And, yes. So I'll say goodbye to you after the break. Answer some questions, do a last-minute Q&A, and then I'm done for the night. So as always, guys, your support is appreciated. I'll see you all shortly. We'll be back in about one to two minutes.